What's up everybody, this is Mike and in today's video we'll talk about the unique Mantis Q and how it stacks up against its competition. So recently Unique announced a brand new travel drone uh, which is called the Mantis Q in hopes to compete with the DJI Spark or the DJI Mavic Air. So let's start off with the basics first. We have a 4K traveling foldable drone, which really, really looks like the DJI Mavic Air. Unique doesn't really innovate in that area. They have produced a drone that is very, very similar to the DJI Mavic Air, but I guess any foldable drone looks like the Mavic Air nowadays. I guess that's the trend. This drone will be selling in Europe for 499 euros and so far we don't have any specific information about when it's coming to the US and at what price, but it should be something along the lines of $500. So as you can see from the price, this drone is categorized as a Spark competitor, but there are a couple of features that make this drone um, really competing with the Mavic Air as well. And one of these features is the battery life. We have a promised battery life of 33 minutes, which is just amazing. Uh, but we are expecting something along the lines of 28 to 29 minutes in the air from the Mantis Q. One of the most interesting aspects of this drone is of course the camera. The camera is capable of recording in 4K video and shooting at 13 megapixels in both JPEG and RAW. The camera can be also tilted down all the way down at 90 degrees and 20 degrees upwards so you can see just above the horizon a bit better. One interesting feature of the Mantis Q is that it can recognize voice commands so you can use your voice and talk to the app instead of using gestures like the DJI Spark for example which I'm not exactly sure how well it's going to work because as we all know when you're flying your drone it's quite noisy around you and even though this drone also supports low noise props I'm not exactly sure how well the voice commands will be recognized by the drone but it's an interesting feature nevertheless so I'm looking forward to seeing it in real life scenarios. So like I said earlier the Mantis Q has a couple of features that really puts it against the Mavic Air and the first one was the flight time of 33 minutes which is beating the Mavic Air by what 13 minutes so that's a crazy amount of flight time more than the Mavic Air but we also have a 72 kilometers per hour maximum speed in sport mode this is a great thing to have when you are looking to fly your drone in sport mode and have some fun in terms of intelligent flight modes we also have a couple to play with but they definitely fall short when compared to the DJI drones so the first mode we have is called journey mode in this mode the drone flies automatically backwards and upwards just like the drone mode and the DJI drones and then returns back home to you. Next we have point of interest and as we all know in this mode the drone automatically circles around an object that you have selected. And the last intelligent flight mode is called return home which of course brings the drone back to its home point safely to you. Um, and that's it. Unfortunately, they only have three intelligent flight modes and one of them is a return home. So you can't really expect anything automated from this drone. You have to fly manually uh, and have to record your footage yourself. But there you go. When the DJI Spark was, was first announced, it was not bundled with a controller. You had to buy it yourself or you had to go for the Fly More package, which included the controller. In this case, with the Mantis Q, the controller is already included in the price. So that's a great addition. The controller looks a bit basic, but I guess it works and does the job well. And by using this controller, you will be able to go 800 meters away if you're flying in Europe under CE mode. And if you're using FCC mode, you will be able to reach 1.5 kilometers. So, so far I have mentioned the more interesting features of this drone and the more positive ones as well. Now it's time to talk about the things that I don't really like and 
the downfalls of this drone. So like I said earlier, the Mantis Q will be able to shoot in 4K, but unfortunately it won't have a stabilized footage. You will have a stabilized footage up to 1080p at 30 or 60 frames per second, but if you choose to shoot in 4K, you will have to go without any image stabilization. And I don't really like that because that means if you want a stable, nice and smooth footage, you have to shoot in 1080p and not use the 4K capabilities. The other thing that is a major downfall for the Mantis Q, in my opinion, is the lack of obstacle avoidance. In both of the cases that I have mentioned so far, the DJI Spark and the Mavic Air, we are seeing major obstacle avoidance features that can help when you're flying your drone, especially if you're a beginner. And since the Mantis Q is geared towards the beginners as well, I definitely don't like the lack of obstacle avoidance. I personally think obstacle avoidance is a must have feature and something that should be present on all drones that are released in 2018. And unfortunately, I don't think Unique is going to get away with this lack of obstacle avoidance because if you're looking to sell a drone to beginners, you have to have some kind of protection. Uh, and unfortunately, this is where the Mantis Q falls short, in my opinion, just like the Parrot Anafi. Finally, we still don't have an exact release date for the Mantis Q. Hopefully, it will be within the next 30 days, and hopefully, I will be able to get my hands on one of those drones so I can test it very, very properly against the Mavic Air and the DJI Spark. With that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please ask your questions in the comment section below. I know I haven't covered absolutely everything about the drone but I will be able to uh, talk to you guys down in the comment section so feel free to ask your questions and I'll be sure to reply as soon as possible. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'm looking forward to seeing you next time. Ciao!